Thought I'd give another uh, garden update since it's uh, they're basically taking over my yard. Um, I was going to prune some some limbs back today, and I thought I'd just give an update while I'm doing that. Okay, my first set of uh, plants are uh, Jonah's, and I got one finally turning colors. See that guy right there. He's looking good. Yeah, these are huge. Get these pods get freaking huge. Last year they probably got as close, if not same size as a tennis ball. Um, but these these are my first pods, so they're they're not as big yet. You can see this. They're just slap full of peppers. And there's one down there that's changing color. There's a big one right there. And uh, here's a Jonah right there. Some big, big pods. Here's a uh, ghost pepper, a Bucciolochi Indian carbon. And these guys are going to have to trim this bad boy off right there. I hate cutting off peppers, but. Gotta do it. There's some, uh, Indian carbons. I just saw it turning red now. Now this was supposed to be an Indian carbon, but as you can tell, they don't look the part. So, but some of them do. They're kind of weird shaped. They're not the correct phenotype. But we'll see what they they ripen out to be. And this one's full of boots and uh, yes I'm about to harvest these soon this is another Indian carbon that uh, look how big these are they're huge pods but uh, they don't look like boots so I don't know we'll see they taste like boots I tasted a few of them but whatever Using my brain strains, these suckers are just popping out like crazy, you know. Every time I pick them, they they pop out more. They're just doing very well, as you can see. As you can see, if you look at me, they are about as tall as me. So they're about about five feet tall by now. They're huge, you know. Towering above the fence. Massive. Okay, here's some more brains. Some more brain strains. Brain strains. Some of these are pretty gnarly looking. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah. That sucker. Pretty gnarly looking. There's some more right here. Really, more brain strains. This is a giant Bucciolochia. Pretty, pretty big. There's a bunch down here that are ripening. Um, there's some more giant ghost pepper. You can see these things are massive. Some of them are like six inches long. Huge. Oops. Here's some Douglas. Just harvest these yesterday, but I get a bunch decided to ripen. All of a sudden, more Douglas, Douglas. Yeah, they look the correct, correct phenotype, of course, because I've grown these three years in a row. There's another one. That's a nice one. Here's another one. And one more plant. Okay. Moving on to the butch teas. Trinidad Scorpion Butch Teas. And some of these 
don't look the correct phenotype, but we'll see. I think they're just the first pods. I did that last year. Yeah. Some of them will have tails. There's one. Some of them don't. Yeah. Now it's got a big tail on it. It's got a tail. That one looks good. Which tea? Yeah, these. That's a gnarly one looking right there. Look at that. Butch T is pretty massive for a Butch T. We got more Butch T's, and these look good. They all got tails on them. And here was supposed to be a giant red Fujilokia, but they all turn yellow. And they're a little smaller. So, I don't know. They taste good though. I tasted one. Very good taste. Here's my yellow Trinidad Scorpion Cardis. Uh, they're just uh, booming. Tons of pods. Here's another Trinidad Scorpion. Uh, butch tea. That one looks pretty gnarly. Going up there. Yeah, that one looks really good. Look at that one. Okay, now moving on to the Carolina Reapers. Which, uh, got these from Pepper Joe. And that looks non phenotype. Looks like a Naga of some sort. Naga, Naga, they all look like Nagas. But they are gnarly looking. And they are hot. Um, we'll move on to plant number three, and these do look like reapers. That one's pretty gnarly looking. Yeah, that one's gnarly. Look at that one. Gnarly. These look really good. Yeah, they're, they're starting to turn out pretty good, this plant. And reaper number two is the same deal. They look like reapers. I'm excited about that. Yeah. yeah. So, and moving on to reaper plant number one, which looks to me like habaneros, but they're a little hotter than habaneros I've grown in the past. So I'm thinking maybe I don't know, maybe. Cross mix, I don't know. But if anybody wants one of these, I'll give them all they want because I'm not a hab. I don't like don't like the taste of habs. So moving on to these are my uh, Maruga scorpions, and uh, this particular plant has tails on it, which are I've tasted all of them, and they're they're a little hotter than the other marugas I have. And here's here's number two plant marugas, and these look more like the traditional marugas. They are got the blunt tail on them, you know, brain strainish. That's what they're supposed to look like. So definitely keeping the seeds for these guys. Here's another Maruga scorpion. These look the part. Yep. And another Maruga scorpion. And these guys look look the part. They're a little odd shaped, a lot of variation in this plant for some reason. And then here's another Cardi, yellow Cardi scorpion. They're producing some big pods, and yeah, it's a big pod, huge. There's one right there, it's gonna be massive. Yeah, over there, that looks like scorpion. 
but bigger. <laughs> All right. That's my update. You can see they're getting pretty massive. Now we'll be pruning them back today because they're just on top of each other. Anyways, that's uh, garden update number two.